YouTube, it's your girl came back with another video. So in today's video, I'm sure you guys can tell by a title. It is a long-awaited one-month update about this wig that I am wearing from Hair VV. But before we get into the video, you guys know what I ask. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning supporter, thank you for coming back. Thank you for everyone who's been sharing, commenting on all my videos. I see you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you for helping me grow. But let's just get right into this video. Now, <clears throat> disclaimer, if you're new to my channel, new to my video, then... Maybe you didn't hear me mention this before, but I always ask that you guys wait for my one month update before you purchase a product, whether I'm having a good experience initially or a bad experience initially. So one month, I think, is enough time for me to figure out whether I would recommend something to you guys or not. So let's just get right into it. So obviously, um, the wig is no longer in its original state. I'm going to leave a picture of what the wig looked like when I got it. Not what it looks like on their website, because we know... I'm going to link those videos down below, like my one-week update, my initial impression, so you guys can check those out if you haven't already. But, um, I cut it. <clears throat> I cut it reluctantly, and the reason that I did is if you guys have watched those videos, uh, the front of the wig, for me, it was just... It was empty. Um, and, like... I just, I couldn't get it to look the way I wanted it to look. Um, when I did cut it, now the back of the wig uh, is definitely fuller than the front. And it started to make me think, because, you know, I'm all about transparency here on my channel. I'm like, maybe this is 160% density. These are the thoughts that are going through my mind. But then I did what I was doing before, and I compared it to my pink wig and the back match. So I'm going to stick with that. It's 130 density, which works out if you guys can't tell. Like, it's... Like, I don't know if you... I I did film a video. Yes. Sorry, I have to think sometimes. There is a video on my channel uh, about how I cut this wig. So I am going to link that down below as well. But I gave it some choppy layers. So before we get too lost in this video talking about the cut, because I do already have a video on my channel about that, is let's get into what I actually like about this wig. Um, you guys heard me mention initial impressions, one week update. I'm always going to give credit where credit's due. And when I talk about something, it's me giving you guys my honest opinion and constructive criticism. You guys can choose to make whatever decision you want. But this hairline is amazing. The fake scalp, if you guys can see, it's it's amazing. Um, it definitely wowed me. Um, the hair is still soft, kind of. Now, if you guys recall, um, after I did my initial video, I told you guys that I did a one-week update and I washed it and the texture did change. Now, since then, the texture of the hair has not changed anymore. Now, after I initially washed the hair, um, after my one-week update, I continued to wash it. I think I probably washed it probably about three or four times total. I did a couple co-washes and then the last wash to each his own, but this is what I do that works for me. I did a clarifying shampoo wash. So what I did was, if you guys haven't seen on my channel, I'm gonna try to find one of those videos where I do like maintenance on my wigs. Um, as I pour a little bit of clarifying shampoo in some water and then I dipped it in there just cause I didn't want it to dry it out too much. But if you saw the video where I cut the hair, like I thought the hair was looking like it was heavy and I'm like, well, I'm not sure if the hair is looking like it's heavy because I actually haven't shampooed it or if that's just how the hair is gonna be, you know, over time. So in order to give you guys a proper one month update a few days ago, I decided to wash it in some clarifying shampoo and then condition it and it just definitely made it a lot lighter. So earlier in the video I mentioned that I feel as though this wig has been rushed. Um, it said on their website for the cap construction that I picked that it was going to take 10 days for it to get to me. Um, it took almost a month if not a full month before I actually received the wig. and. I don't want to say it's a little disappointing. Uh, it's a little disappointing because of... I'll, I'll insert pictures. So there are two bra strap like clips that are in the back um, that hook on like to these little hooks. If you guys have worn wigs and you'll be familiar with what I'm speaking about. If not, I'm going to try to insert a picture up here so you guys can, you know, have a, a better idea of what I'm referring to. Um, one of those I didn't realize in my one week update. Um, I'll try to post a little clip so you guys can see when I talked about it in that video. Um, it's actually coming apart. Like I... I don't know how I missed it. So I've had the wig probably over a month, but I've only actually worn it for a month. And even at a week of wearing it, it was falling apart. Now that big elastic band that they have in the back, I'm like 50-50 with it. So it's not, 
it's not really like in the way I like the option to have it be adjustable like especially when I'm taking my wigs off if you guys look in the background you'll notice that I have like the elastic band on all of my wigs and it's nice to be able to adjust that so that the band doesn't stretch out um, when I put it on a mannequin head but it's still stretched out I don't get it so I'm gonna insert a picture of that so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about those are going to be like the only things that I think I don't like about the wig aside from the price that you charge for it, which I got into on my one week update video. Now, what I do like about it is that even though the hair texture changed after I washed it the one time, it didn't continue to change after that. Um, and I'm not having, like I said, a bad experience with the hair so far. Like the hair, I'm sure you guys can see the hair looks, it looks good. Like it's... I, I love it now that I cut it. Like, if I didn't cut it, I think I would continue to just... I don't want to say not have a great experience, but like... When you... I don't know if anyone else feels like this, but I feel like when you wear hair, like, you want to feel comfortable, you want to feel confident, and like, the thinness that I experienced with this hair when I first got it, it just... it wasn't giving me that, so... And I don't want to say this is going to sound crazy and I don't want to seem like I'm being hypocritical because again, that's why I asked for you guys to wait for a one month update because the one week update, I wasn't feeling the thinness. I'm upset that I had to cut it because I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have bought the wig at the length that I bought it at had I known that the hair was going to be as thin as it was in the front. Um, I would consider buying a bob wig from them if the density looks the way the density looks on this one. But I always tell you guys, anytime you're dealing with an AliExpress hair company, you always want to consider, and like I said, this is AliExpress hair because there are fillers in it. There's not a lot of fillers in it, and it's on the hair-wise, it's on the higher end quality-wise of some of the AliExpress hair companies that I've purchased from in the past. So it's, when I say AliExpress, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing per se, um, but it is AliExpress hair, just the higher quality of the AliExpress hair. But um, like I said, I'm not, it's, I'm not having a problem with the hair. The like hair. I mentioned to you guys in the one week update, aside from the straps, one falling apart and one just kind of stretching out, um, I'm not really having any issues with the wig. I can't really foresee myself having any issues, especially like at this length, I mean, I don't want to say what else could happen because anything can happen. I come back to you guys in about three months and give you like another update, but I'm not having a bad experience so far. Um, I would actually recommend it at this point, like I said, for a bob, um, as long as I'm able to get this density and as long as the price is right. Because I've seen uh, wigs on their website for $1.99 for a bob, which I think it's reasonable for the hair quality that I'm getting even though it's AliExpress hair. So. Now another reason why I say that this wig was rushed. Now initially on their page you can tell that the wig was meant to be styled in a center part. One thing that I just noticed like well I pay attention to detail if you guys have been on my channel then you would notice that I do that. Um, but the color is uneven and it's not really in like a straight center part but everything else lines up to where it's even on both sides and you can see like on this side where the brown starts like all the way up here and it goes down but on this side there's barely any brown and if there is it's just like really here towards the end so little things like that would bother me um which is a part of the reason also why like when i cut it i cut it in a center part uh, Side part, sorry. Um, but yeah, I mean, just minor details that I feel as though if you were going to make me wait a month for a wig that you initially set the expe expectations for that was going to be 10 days, I almost feel as though it should have been flawed. So when it comes to that elastic band in the back of the wig that I mentioned to you guys earlier in the video, um, like I said, I was 50-50 about the elastic band. Um, one thing that I do not like about the elastic band is it's nice that it's adjustable, but when I put it on my head, sometimes it loosens on its own. So when you adjust it, sometimes that little plastic piece that holds it in place kind of slides along. So I don't really like that. More than likely, I am going to change it to a regular elastic band like I have on all my other wigs for two reasons. One, because when I put it on my head, it keeps moving. And two, you guys know I don't stick my wigs on. Um, normally, I would put the elastic band right about here. 
um, and it just kind of helps it to lay down a little bit flatter in the front. So if I didn't have this pulled forward, you guys would be able to see these tabs here a little bit easier um, and tell that the wig was not sucked down. So if I put the elastic band, sorry, I'm looking in this mirror right here so I can make sure I'm lining it up. But if I put the elastic band here, what will then happen is it will be tight. And when the wind blows, you won't really be able to tell that the wig is not stuck. But I can't so. foresee me having any issues um, with the hair. I didn't have any issues before I cut it, for the most part. I mean, aside from like the like minor like tangles, nothing too major, nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, I can't foresee me having any issues with this hair at this length. I would, I would honestly recommend it. But um, that wraps this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.